Hey guys, Jay Nasty here. What is up guys? If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you guys would, drop a like, that'd be awesome. Um, looking at the gameplay right now, I was 7-11. and 11. Um, This game, this match was very, very campy. Uh, not a lot of people were moving. There was a guy or two sniping, and it was very difficult to actually rush on this map. Um, very, very difficult. We couldn't get the spawn trap, and it was just a big camping fest with the enemy team camping on one side and my team camping on the other. So that's why this gameplay you're watching is a really, really slow paced chem strike. So forgive me, I haven't been playing too much Call of Duty. Um, been making a lot of videos lately. But anyways, what I want to talk to you guys today about is the Advanced Warfare Beta and the possibility of an Advanced Warfare Beta. So anyways, as you guys know, usually before every Call of Duty, what, um, what Activision likes to do or whatever Call of Duty company is making the game, they like to invite popular YouTubers to their site and, or not their site, their, com their company's site. I don't know where the hell they play. But they go and they play and um, it's usually very big YouTubers that are uploading Call of Duty. I could use like Drifter, Team Martin, Ali A, people like that. Um, I'm not trying to take shots at any of those guys by any means. I'm just saying those are the types of people that go to the events and um, like last year, I think Black Ops 2, I think Pimage went, uh, Nade Shot went, so a lot of well-known YouTubers go to these events and they play um, the video game. Now, here's where it comes in tricky. So why would you have a beta for Advanced Warfare when you already have these YouTubers that you pay you most likely play. I know they pay for their flights and their hotel rooms. Maybe they don't pay them. I'm not too sure. But why would you have a beta when you have the most popular Call of Duty YouTubers talking about your game and promoting your game um, and not really saying any negatives about it, not really criticizing at all? I remember when Call of Duty Ghost was released, I didn't hear a lot of negative reviews about it, and we all know how that turned out. But like I'm saying, though, is why, why would we have a beta when they just get these big YouTubers to promote their game. Like, there's no point for a beta, and that's what I kinda wanna get through you guys' head, is that we'll probably never see a, a, beta, a beta in Call of Duty in the future episodes. You already have the YouTubers that played it that uh, will praise it and will upload it and get the views that they want and trade maybe to get it to play it early and upload it early. So that's what I just wanna let you guys know is the possibility of a beta, beta, beta? I think you can say it both ways, I'm not too sure is slim to slim to none. I feel like if I got a hold of a if I got a hold of a Call of Duty beta, if I got a hold of a Call of Duty Ghosts beta before it got released, I would tell you not to buy the game and that's a sheer fact. I got the game like 6 days early and I made some videos saying how bad the maps were and this is it's an awful game. I said that pre-release and um, I know you're trying to people try to stay positive and I know people like to be positive people but Call of Duty Ghosts, I, I could if I would, if there was a beta, nobody would have bought the game, and I promise you, they would have lost even more numbers than they already have, um, and it just shows by the numbers, and that's why they won't have a beta. There's a lot of BS in Call of Duty, and I think a lot of the BS turns um, turns away most Call of Duty players, and uh, when you have these YouTubers that are promoting the game, some get paid actually, I know that for a fact, um, you're just getting positive reviews, so there's no negative reviews in there, you're just getting a bunch of positives. In turn, it influences the audience to buy the game. It uh, persuades them to buy the game. So that's really why there will never be a beta. Uh, I keep saying beta. I think it's beta. I don't know why I keep saying it different every time. But you guys understand what I'm trying to say. And um, I'm just letting you guys know it's not going to happen. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you do mind, drop a like. That'd be awesome. But like I said, and if they make a remake of Nuketown, I'm going to be thoroughly upset. There's so many other good maps besides Nuketown that needs to be remade. Like Shipment. Shipment would be an awesome map. Just saying. Shipment would be really fun. Crash would be fun. Uh, WMD would be really fun. So many, so many good maps. Grid would be a really fun map. I love, I honestly love almost every single Black Ops 1 map there was. Radiation. So many good maps. I'm tired of Nuketown. I said it. I'm done. It's been in way too many Call of Duties. But I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out, slutbag. Motherfuckers.